Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, something very interesting uh, that a question that came from the talking of, um, you know, SSD drives and uh, regular hard drives. Uh, somebody was asking me about the smart technology. Um, what exactly does it do and is it reliable and um the thing is, each manufacturer actually um, uses its own way of detecting the uh, the problem. So smart, first of all, means self-monitoring, analysis, and reporting technology. It is applied both to a regular hard drive, um, because one of the questions was, is smart also something that exists for... Um, SSD drives, and yes, a smart technology does exist. But like I said, in most cases, the way that they use it, each manufacturer is different in reporting. And I can't say, you know, if I look at smart technology, has been there for a long time. And if I look at 15 years of when I was a tech guy, um, I would say that smart technology is pretty much unreliable and not, um, a measure of what you should look for and failure of hard drives because there were hard drives failing or hard drives on the edge about to fail and smart would not even report any problem what it usually should do and what it does is technically look at the read writes and the number of errors and um, the number of um, you know cells or or the number of um, places on the hard drive where reading or writing is is a problem. And of course, um, hard drives have this way of actually taking, for example, on a magnetic hard drive, um, when there's a problem at one specific part of the hard drive, there's a table within the hard drive, and the smart technology can actually write to that table and say, this area is unreliable, don't use it anymore. So technically, it kind of lowers the amount of uh, data that your drive will actually be able to get on the drive. But, you know, it prevents loss of data and problems in the future. And this is already a new drive has some uh, clusters in, or some cells that are dead. It's it's part of the manufacturing process. A very low number, but there's all, already a certain number of them that are written in that table. And as time goes by, more will be added. So the smart should be checking the amount of failures, the rate of how many failures are added every week, every day, and so on. Uh, the read-write speed, which will give an indication of sometimes maybe some part of the drive failing. Um, unfortunately, it is far, really, like I said, really, really far from being uh, something reliable and um, the number of hard drives that will fail without your smart technology not even giving any any info that or any indication that it's going to fail um, you should not rely on that at all it, it doesn't mean anything and um, where you should probably start wondering and one of the, the things I've seen often on failing drives is a slowing down in the read writes if your drive starts to really, really slow down and reads and writes are very slow suddenly, it may be start thinking of changing the drive. It is one of the indications that I've noted the most as it is going to fail soon. But um, unfortunately, a lot of drives fail just, you know, you boot up the PC and it's just gone or it's just not working anymore and that is probably the majority of failing of hard drives uh, they just fail and that's it and when that happens recovering data is very difficult or impossible or very costly so the smart self-monitoring analysis and reporting technology not very reliable i would never never look at that to see if a drive is about to fail or not if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching